Hey everybody, what's up? Gary Simon here. So today we have more unique video than usual. Um, I have my own Discord server, as most of you know, and Discord's a great app uh, for real-time chat. And they just released a uh, an update to where uh, they allow people to respond to each other and they'll show a little blip of the response. And you can kind of see it right here. In fact, I'll go ahead and I'll respond to this person that said, well, no, just to show you what it looks like. You're famous now. Oops, I failed, I spelled, uh, I spelled, I spelled famous wrong. You're famous now. And so to me, I can't stand this. I cannot stand how this is designed. I think personally, I can do a lot better d job of creating this whole sort of des uh, response layout. And so I, what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm, I'm use, I've already created the designs and I'm just, I, created, I created prototypes and I created several variations to where I ultimately narrow in on something I think would be a lot better. And you guys can let me know what you think in the comments if you really think I did something better or not, uh, or if you literally like the original. All right, so as always, make sure to subscribe and let's get started. One second, before we begin, the sponsor of this video is Scrimba. Now, in case you've been living under a rock, Scrimba.com is an interactive learning platform for coders. They recently launched their front-end development career path, which is a collection of courses that cover HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, and much, much more, as you see. It's over 75 hours of awesome content, there are hundreds of interactive coding challenges, and it's all geared towards helping you go from beginner to someone that's hireable as a front-end developer. So check out the first link in the description below to get 50% off. All right, so just for reference, once again, this is uh, just a screenshot um, of what the replies look like. So again, the way this works is, you know, um, somebody replies, like Sam Nan replied to Cassie right here, and it gives you a small preview of what that person says the original comments right here. Again, to me, it's just a cluttered mess. It's a little bit worried, worried, a little bit wordy when it concerns where it says reply to Cassie here. This type's uh, a lot smaller and it's just, it's just a cluttered mess in my opinion. So I'm gonna run through uh, probably like five or six different variations and different design attempts that I've made to refactor this particular design. So I did a little bit of a prototype animation work. Somebody's texting me. Um, let's just show I uh, the first one that I did here. All right, so they're coming in, coming in, coming in, and we have two different replies to show, and I'm gonna work through the same conversation each time. <laughs> Is it okay to design my site in Photoshop and use Microsoft front page 98? He actually said this. I'm kidding, he didn't. Nonetheless, this is um, demonstrating Cassie responding to Samnan here. And instead of having it on top, it makes much more sense from just a logical perspective to feature what the person said and have, you know, feature that first and then underneath it have like a line drawn to it in relation to what they're responding to and also like dim it out a little bit. Um, I think that makes so much more sense than doing simply this right here where the response is first and then uh, or, or the thing that they're responding to is first and then the response is underneath it. I, I think that doesn't make sense at all. So I think, you know, going this route where you have the response first and then the thing they're responding to is underneath and indented, that makes a lot more sense. So what would it look like if we also kind of uh, really made it more obvious about what th what thing is the respond the respondee looking, okay, let me reword that. It, it makes, I think it might make more sense to create a container, put a container around this area and maybe make it a little bit darker. That way we can clearly distinguish what is being said uh, and what is being responded to. So let's see what that looks like. There we go. So now, as you can see, I've used this panel background color right here for the background of the thing that's being responded to. And I actually like that quite a bit more, although I forgot to dim this out. I think that would make sense to kind of dim this text slightly um, just so it doesn't stick out so much and it, it reinforces the visual hierarchy between the two. Um, I also did an experiment on putting this first, like this design, kind of like how it was in original. So let's see what that one looks like. Okay, so this is kind of going back to the original current approach that Discord's using by putting the thing that's being responded to first 
and then having this right here be the actual response. I still don't like it. Um, I also, re I created another one where the whole thing is encased, which I, I thought made sense, but now I, looking back, I don't really think that makes sense. And then after seeing, you know, just going back to the original point where you just have the uh, thing that's being responded to first, I, I don't like that. So I scrapped that. And finally, I came up with what I think would be the ultimate solution out of all of these so far. And it is this right here. So notice it's much smaller. And so that is one thing that I think the original design got right. Here is the original. Notice how small it is and that's in order to conserve space. Um, they don't even have the person's username though. They just have a smaller version of the icon. Um, and then it says reply to Cassie, but I think that's wordy. I think it would just make more sense to put the actual username right next to the small avatar. And then the thing that the responder, you know, whatever they said right here in its own container. So really we changed just a few things. We've moved a thing that's being responded to underneath the, the real actual comment that the person stated. We also created an arrow that kind of points directly to it. Second to that, we also encased it into a uh, container that, you know, basically has a slightly offset background color so that we can clearly see a clear dis distinction between the two things that are being said. Um, and we also took the username, put it here instead of putting, adding just more unnecessary type up by the person's username. And then finally made everything small and also uh, less contrast for the type so that we can really reinforce the visual hierarchy. So let me know what you guys think. Um, which one do you like better? Do you perhaps like the original? You know, it's, it's perfectly possible that the team at Discord, they created very similar designs. Um, hopefully they did in order to, to, to test them with real users. It's perfectly possible they did that. I don't know if they did that. Maybe somebody from the Discord team can comment here on YouTube. Let us know, you know how this process went for determining these quotes and why you ended up here. Um, like I said, I mean, not like I said, but like I'm going to say, I don't necessarily, I, I, I don't necessarily have the hundred percent solution because ultimately as a designer, your assumptions don't mean anything until you put them to the test with real users. And it's perfectly possible that they did that and they had something that looked like this and the real users chose this over this, but I would be really surprised. But then again, I've been wrong in the past. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. You know, which one do you like? Do you like this one or any of the other iterations? Or do you like the original right here that's currently being used on Discord? All right, so I, quick video. I thought it'd be fun to do that just to redesign something, an app that we all common, like most people commonly use. Um, so yeah, in a couple days, I'm releasing a huge, uh, tutorial or a course really where I create a portfolio for a front end, a fictional front end developer. And I'm going for the UI UX design process to the front end development process to the develop to the deployment process as well. So look out for that and I'll see you guys real soon. Make sure to subscribe and goodbye.